सो हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम टू दिस सेशन इन द लास्ट सेशन वी हैव सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू लाइन इंटरग्रल वर्क डन इन अ पर्टिकुलर पाथ ओके यूजिंग सम ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लाइन इंटरग्रल्स सो नो दिस इज वन मोर कॉन्सेप्ट दैट इज द लास्ट कॉन्सेप्ट द लास्ट फ्यू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ दिस मॉड्यूल सो द टॉपिक इज करेंट डेंसिटी ओके so now let's see what is current density before that let's analyze the figures which we are present here so here in this figure this is a three dimensional surface where a particular uh, uh, three dimensional uh, what to say a structure is kept here of uh, what to say a cube or a cube like structure with a particular volume given as delta q uh, we know that delta q is equal to rho v uh, into delta v right so now this is the surface that is delta s and this is the path that is delta l and this is the origin here in the this also the here in this figure the structure of the cube is moved forward okay yeah so here when this cube is moved forward a, a bit forward it produces a space called as delta x here okay and this uh, these all the things remains the same okay uh, so now let's uh, calculate the current density when the object is moved forward in a particular direction okay when this object is moved forward and when uh, this uh, path delta x is created using this delta x we are going to few find some of the parameters okay that is current density okay so this was the brief theory of this figure so now let's get to the derivation part or the uh, arrival arrival of formula so the ratio of movement of charge passing through the area is electric current and which is given by i is equal to d theta by dt amperes okay that is 1 coulomb per 1 second that you all be, might be knowing it so now current density j the, the this j represents the current density okay this symbol j whenever you see you, you need to be knowing that it is current density is current at a point measured in the amperes per square meter that is delta i is equal to jn delta s okay yeah where this uh, this formula you need to remember where this delta a is the incremental current and delta s is the incremental surface normal to the current density okay yeah so when current density is not perpendicular to the surface then we can say that delta i is equal to jn vector dot delta s vector the dot product of j uh, current density into the inc uh, inc uh, incremental surface would produce the change in current when the current density is not perpendicular okay so therefore the total current is obtained by i is equal to surface integral of since this delta i uh, delta i we are bringing it to other side so the, the delta when it goes to other side it would be an integral and since the the surface here is given as delta s so i is equal to surface integral of j dot delta s this formula you need to be remembering okay this is a very very important formula okay you cannot forgetting this because uh, this formula is used in the further modules as well upcoming modules yeah so now let's go to the relationship part that is rela relationship between j that is current density and rho v and uh, which is volume charge density what is the relationship between them let's see so now let's consider the ele uh, an element of charge delta q which is given as uh, we know the delta q is equal to rho v delta v is equal to rho v delta s into delta l okay since the delta v is the incremental volume and it is given as incremental surface into the integral incremental length okay so now let's assume charge element uh, ori oriented with its parallel to the coordinate axis consider the element of charge is moved at the distance delta x in time delta t so that when this and all the parameters are getting uh, added up so the final change in uh, charge is given as delta q is equal to rho v into delta s uh, into delta x as i have told you the change in charge uh, uh, would be getting multiplied when uh, there is a sudden change in the position of the uh, object the 3d object when it's moved in a particular path so this uh, 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 space is created which is uh, noted as delta x so that uh, delta x here gets multiplied uh, when the incremental charge is applied okay so this is the formula again so you need to remember it so now we know that delta i is equal to delta q by delta t okay so that is uh, delta q is given as rho v into delta s into delta x right so that divided by delta t 
so that's equal to rho v into delta s into this delta x by delta t is what x x is the displacement here and t, uh, t is the time so in general what is displacement by time the displacement by time is the velocity okay so that's why we are replacing this delta x by delta t as v in suffix x that is velocity okay since we know that in general velocity is equal to displacement by time right so therefore delta i by delta s is equal to jx that is the current charge density and that is given as rho v into vx vector okay so in general what we are getting j is equal to uh, removing the uh, since this path is in the x direction so in general we can say that j is equal to rho v times v vector okay so this is the in general relationship which we are obtaining for a current density here so you need to be remembering that is j is equal to rho v times v vector okay so yeah this is the formula you need to be knowing and uh, this was all the all derivation of the current uh, current charge density okay so you need to be remembering this so now let's go to the one more important concept so the next concept here which we are trying to cover is continuity of current okay continuity equation okay so now let's see what is this continuity of current so the principle of conservation charge states that the charges can neither be created nor destroyed this is the law of conservation of charge which you need to be you might be heard in the lower classes as well that is the charges can neither be created nor destroyed okay so this is not the concept the real concept is uh, let's see what is that consider a region bounded by a closed surface and the current through the closed surface is given by uh, i is equal to surface integral of j dot delta s which i have already proved it in the previous uh, derivation so now the outward flow of positive charges must be balanced by decrease of positive charges okay maybe increase of uh, negative charges that is the outward flow of positive charges in a particular path must be balanced by the decrease of positive charges so whenever the charges are getting decreased the the whenever the charges are getting decreased in the inside path so when when it get decreased the the uh, charges here moves outward that is the outward flow of positive charges should not affect the inward flow of the positive charges so it should have a balance between them okay so that's why let the charge inside the closed surface give, be given as q i here so then the from the principle of conservation of charge we know that energy can neither be created nor destroyed that is i is equal to surface integral of j dot ds is equal to the change in the uh, rate of change of charge with respect to time here the charge which we are given it is uh, qi okay so that's why this negative sign indicates the outward flow of current okay so that's why we have written this uh, negative sign here so this indicates the outward flow of current so now from divergence theorem we know that this is uh, one relation which we have proved in the divergence theorem part that is surface integral of j dot ds is equal to volume integral of del dot j dv okay but in place of d here we have written it j okay since we uh, don't need the component d here flux density is not required in this case we need the current density here so in place of uh, flux density electric flux density we have uh, replaced it by current density in both the sides okay so now what we can say del dot uh, j uh, volume integral of del dot j dv is equal to uh, minus uh, d, dqi by dt that is minus d by dt of q is uh, represented as q in general it is volume integral of rho v dv right since we have proved it in the first module as well so we need to replace this charge by volume integral of uh, rho v dv so that's why what we will be getting uh, volume integral of del dot j dv is equal to minus volume integral of this d by dt when we take inside the integral from the limits rule of differentiation what we would be getting when we go when the differentiation part goes inside the integral it would be dou by dou t so that's why minus integration of vo uh, volume integral of dou by dou t rho v dv okay so now this in from both sides we can cancel it uh, cancel out this volume integral also we can cancel out this dv okay so the remaining part is so now what is remaining here after cancellation that is del dot j is equal to minus dou by dou t of rho v okay so this is the relation between current density that is uh, 
current uh, density and volume charge density so this is the relationship and this rela relationship uh, derives our continuity equation here in point form okay so this equation is called as continuity equation which is given in point form also the relationship the general relationship between current cha charge density and volume charge density okay please note it down so this is the equation here so this was all about the continuity equation derivation so now let's get to one simple problem here the general problem with the without any values they have the, here the question given is consider the current density j that is directed radially outwards and decreases exponentially with time okay here they have given the value of j selecting an instant of time t is equal to 1 second they have to, told us to take time t is equal to 1 second uh, we may calculate the total outward current at r is equal to 5 meters okay so now they have asked us to they have asked us to basically find the rate of change of uh, uh, the movement of object with respect to time so that is rate of change of movement is called as displacement with respect to time is means uh, it is time so displacement divided by time is we know that in generally it is velocity so using some of the parameters let's get to know how to we get uh, how do we obtain velocity here okay so now first uh, write the equation of i is equal to jr into a where this a is the area okay so here they they have given the concept of exponential uh, time so that's why we can consider the area of a sphere okay so now that is uh, write the area of the sphere as uh, a is equal to 4 pi r square and also jr is also given in this case that is uh, substitute the value of jr okay then after substituting we can cancel one r out so the remaining term is i is equal to e to the power minus t by into 4 pi r okay the substitute the value of pi and r is also they have given it as 5 meters so substitute that also then uh, e inverse put it in the calculator e inverse is 0 0.368 and after calculation the value of current which we are getting is 23.11 amps okay so now at the same instant but for slightly larger radius that is let's uh, increase the uh, length of the radius now and see what uh, changes we might get r is equal to 6 meter we have i is equal to jr dot same formula in this case we are getting the current i is as 27.73 amps okay so hence the total current is larger at r is equal to 6 than it is at r is equal to 5 so what uh, what to say what we have uh, uh, seen here is whenever the uh, there is a change in radius that whenever there is an increase in radius so we would be getting a larger amount of current okay so that's why we can see that to see why this happens we need to look at the volume charge density as well as velocity okay yeah so we have the relationship between volume charge density and uh, current uh, density here which we have proved it the continuity equation so write that and again expand this del dot j in spherical coordinate system since we are uh, dealing with the sphere here so that's why expand del dot j in spherical coordinate system okay but we know that we have the only uh, component which in the question it's given is only for jr so write the component uh, which is coefficient uh, which is uh, considering only jr uh, uh, jr component that is 1 by r square dou by dou r of r square into jr okay then uh, substitute the value of jr and we can cancel r r uh, and r from r and r from r square you can cancel one r so 1 by r square dou by dou r of r into e to the power minus t okay that is uh, the dou by dou r of r into e, e to the power minus t is e to the power minus t only since uh, dou by dou r of r is 1 okay so the generally del dot j we would be getting it as 1 by r square into e to the power minus t so this is the del dot j here so now we have taken this equation as equation star right so what we would be getting minus dou by dou t of rho v is del dot j so rho v is equal to uh, minus of integration of since this uh, dou by dou t we are taking it to other side so it, this would be turned as integration of 1 by r square e to the power minus t dt since we are doing it with respect to time so rho v is equal to 1 by r square e to the power uh, uh, 1 by r square I have taken it outside the integral since it is constant so then rho v is equal to minus 1 by r square e to the power minus t integration is minus e to the power minus t plus since uh, this is a definite integral we don't have any limits we need to be adding one constant and that constant i have taken it as kr k of r okay so that's why 
1 by r square uh, minus into minus is plus so 1 by r square e to the power minus t plus kr okay so now if we assume uh, the volume charge density rho b is tending to 0 at t tending to infinity then we can say that this kr the constant is equal to 0 okay so and the rho b is given as 1 by r square e to the power minus t coulombs per meter cube see when kr is equal to 0 this is the value of rho b which we are getting so this is the uh, value of the volume charge density here which we are obtaining okay okay so now we have obtained the volume charge density but we have one more relation of uh, current charge density that is j is equal to uh, current uh, uh, density and volume charge density that is j is equal to rho v times v and this v is not the uh, what to say and this v is not the voltage okay whenever we have this small letter v it always represents velocity only the capital letter v we, we need to represent it as voltage this is velocity so now using this relation let's try to find velocity okay so to find velocity this v keep it as it is then it would be jr by rho v vector so vr is equal to so vr means we are uh, uh, finding the radially outward velocity so that's why we are considering the component vr so now we have got the values for jr and rho v substitute that okay after substituting and simplification this is the answer which we are getting that is volt uh, velocity is vr is equal to r meter per second so we can conclude that velocity is greater than uh, at r is equal to b okay than at r is equal to uh, at r is equal to 6 than at r is, uh, r is equal to 5 and we see that some unspecified force is accelerating charge density in an outward direction so we can conclude that we have a uh, proved few test cases right by taking the radius of r is equal to 5 and 6 we can say that we can see that the current is varying that is the current is increasing so that's why since the answer which we have got is uh, r meter per second so when we substitute the value of radius uh, different different values of radius we can we can see that the velocity is getting increased so, and also we can see some unspecified force accelerating charge density is in an outward direction okay yeah so this was all about this problem hope you have understood this so please refer our previous videos like share subscribe uh, also refer our playlists so that's all thank you